What's up? Whoa, what's up, guys? Ooh, what's up, guys? What is up, guys? Oh, welcome to the studio. I am so pumped to have you here for this video. This video, I have been thinking, I've had this video in my head for at least six months. And I am so excited to finally be introducing the March Mug Madness Bracket Challenge. You guys, this is gonna be exciting. So every year, March Madness is an NCAA basketball tournament. And I, it is one of my favorite times of year. I love March, my birthday's in March. It means springtime is coming. NCAA basketball tournament is so fun. Basically, what they do in the basketball tournament is they have the 64 or 68 top teams in a bracket like this, and they match up head to head, and they seed them. So there's like a one versus a 16 seed, and the higher seed, the, the lower the number is better. And then you end up with one winner. And sometimes it's a favorite, sometimes it's somebody, like we love seeing the upsets where people that aren't supposed to win end up beating the better team, the better team. So I decided to pick the 64 best mugs, or what I think are the best mugs, over the past, that I've made over the past year. And so we just got back from Arizona. We were in Arizona last week. And so I had some of my family who was there with me help me pick number one through 64. So this is the bracket that we've made. We have the South region, the West region, the East region, and the Midwest region. So we are going to be putting all these games up to you guys. So you guys are gonna vote. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play it on Instagram. On the Instagram stories, there's a great poll. So you can like put two pictures up, and then once you see the story, you can choose and then you can see who's ahead. So it'll say like 65%, 35%. And so those are gonna be the games. So basically what we're gonna do, I know this might sound a little confusing, but stick with me, it's gonna be worth it, I promise. So basically starting tomorrow on Thursday, March 5th, we'll have the first eight games go up. So this game, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the South region is gonna go up on Thursday for you guys to vote. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, it's at John Schmidt Pottery. And I honestly, this is not a way for me to like get more Instagram followers. This is just purely, Instagram has the best method for polling people. So everybody that sees the story can choose what they want and it'll be easy to like track who wins which game. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that will be the first round. So then one mug will advance each game. And then starting the 12th, March 12th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll have the second round games. So there will be eight games Thursday, eight games Friday, and then Saturday will be the Elite Eight. So there will be eight games left. So Saturday, Sunday, and then the next weekend, the 19th, 20th, and the 21st will be the final four. And then the championship will be on Saturday, the 21st. So at the end of all this, we will end up with one mug. And this is where it gets really exciting. Okay, so if you go on a play, whichever mug out of these 64 mugs wins the whole thing, I am gonna just make a bunch of those mugs. And I'm gonna be giving 10 of them away to those of you who are participating. Okay, so stick with me, this is exciting. So what I need you guys to do, if you wanna play, if you wanna enter into this fun bracket challenge, you have to do a couple things. First, you have to comment on this video which mug you think will win the whole thing. And I'm gonna go through in this video and talk about kind of the matchups and I'll show you the guys the pictures. So basically you'll have to say like, the games are numbered, game one through 32, and you can all, or so you can say game number five, the six seed. Or you could say, you know, I want the West region, the 13th seed in the West region. That's kind of how you would have to pick if you comment. Okay, so that's number one. You have to comment on this video and say which mug you think will win the entire challenge once we're all done. Number two, you have to participate and you have to be voting in at least 10 different games. So by the end of this whole thing, there will be a total of 63 different matchups from the first round, you know, there's 32 matchups, and then there's 16, and there's eight, and there's four, and so there's 63 total. You have to go and vote on Instagram in at least 10 of them. So you can get all 10 in in the first week, if you in the first weekend if you want, or you can get the 10, if you start next weekend, you can get them all in. It's not that hard. So you do, 
Just have to, and I'm sorry if you don't go on Instagram, this might force you to start an Instagram, which you might love, but you have to go on Instagram and then, so the story stays up for 24 hours. So there will be eight games up for 24 hours on Thursday, eight games up for 24 hours on Friday, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and I can see who votes for what and how many. So I can go back and check that you for sure voted in 10. Those two things. I think that's it. That's really it. And, and obviously you have to be subscribed and you have to like this video and all those things that, you know, all the things that we talk about all the time. But that's what you have to do to be entered into this giveaway. Does that make sense? My calendar makes sense? My bracket makes sense? Game one is a brand new, number one seed is that brand new mug with that Aurora green drip over the decal, which I thought was a super cool mug and a bunch of people really liked it. Uh, the 16 seed is that orange. Anyway, I'll just put them all up so you can kind of see them as I talk through them. You know, number two is eight, nine seed. So those are really close. Game number three, five, 12 seed. So the five seed is obviously the better seed in that one. That marble drip, I love that. Number four is another marbled carved um, in the four seed spot. Number five is that gold decal moon one. I think that's gonna be a really popular one. Uh, the six seed over the 11 seed. No, no, game number six is a Mocha Monkey mug versus that faceted one. Uh, the three seed is that faceted Lavender Mist. Game number seven is a hand warmer mug and that Winter Wood with the red. Game number eight is a carved marbled mug against just kind of a spiral red mug. Um, so that's the South region. So those games are gonna be up tomorrow. Next region is the West region. So the number one seed in that region is the Lavender Mist uh, Gold Moon, I think, is going to be hard to beat, really. Uh, but the Hand Warming Mug could come in with the upset. Then we have a Marbled versus a Minnesota. We have a Faceted Green Opal one versus a Minnesota Mug. Then we have some Spiral and a really cool number 13 seed. My wife thinks that's going to be an upset right there. Game number 13 is a Marbled versus a Minnesota with a decal on it. Number 14 is that cool Copper Drip over uh, the 14 seed, the Crackle. Number fifth game number fifteen is a twisted, um, a twisted really cool one over an upside down fired one that could be another upset. Number ten over seven, and then number sixteen that really cool marble one that's one of my favorites. One of my family members predicted that one would win. That's the western region. Over to the eastern region, we have a marbled heart mug over a sixteen seed pretty basic twisted mug. And then a carved against a Minnesota. We got some gold decals on number five seed over 12 seed. Um, and then we got a heart on a marble over a 13 seed. That's another gold decal. So we'll see how popular those gold decals are. Um, if they can really stand up to the marble. Then we have a twisted over a hand warming mug. We're also gonna get to see how popular those hand warming mugs are. Um, and then we have a marbled blue one over a lavender mist. Very cool mug. And we have another hand warming over a marbled seven over 10 seed. And then we have a, that's one of my favorite mugs that I think I've ever made is that number two seed over that number 15 seed. Uh, so we'll see how well that holds up. That's the Eastern region. And then the last region, the Midwest region. So we have that number one seed, I think is one of my favorite mugs I've ever, um, those are going up on Etsy next week as well, uh, over a basic heart mug. And then we have a Minnesota and a marbled and then a spiral, really cool, slow cooled one that I really like over the Minnesota. Number 28, that'll be really interesting to see this um, basic Northern Lights glaze I've been doing forever over that, uh, this is sandstone over green opal. Then we have a copper one over a spiral and then a marbled and over a basic one and then a hand warmer. And then that number two seed in the last game, game 32, it's one of my one of my favorite mugs I've ever made on a, on this really dark brown clay carved in like a sun firework thing. It's really cool. That is the bracket. So which one are you gonna choose? All right. So I wanted to remind you guys that on Monday, March 9th, we have an Etsy restock coming up. So if you want to buy, there's quite a few of the pots that are in this bracket challenge that are for sale. And yeah, we just got back from Arizona. So I wanted to show you guys. Oh, we reached a hundred thousand subscribers when we were on the top of Camelback Mountain in Arizona, so I checked it at the top of Camelback Mountain and that's when we went over 100,000. So uh, let's show you guys a clip of that and then I'll show you guys some clips of Arizona, our trip to Arizona, so check it out. All right, we're about to get to the top of Camelback Mountain and it has been treacherous. Look at that. 
All right, so we are at the top of Camelback Mountain right now in Arizona. And I think that when I check my phone, we're gonna be at 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I just checked it and it's 100,016 subscribers, which is crazy. I can't, I can't quite believe that First of all, I can't believe that we got to 100,000 subscribers, but that the fact that the first time I saw it was on the top of a mountain after we hiked it was nuts. It's hard to put it into words how, I mean, I've been working for two years on this YouTube channel and now we're at 100,000. So thank you guys, it means so much to me. I'm not even, yeah, it's crazy. 100,000, getting that silver play button from YouTube. All right, see you guys on the way down. Go. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we climbing? Yeah, I'm a mountain. I'm a mountain. <laughs> you ready? So that was our little trip to Arizona. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. It would mean the world to me if we had a bunch of people that took part in this March Madness mug challenge. Uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be super fun to watch and see like which mugs are winning consistently. Like do the marbled ones all get to the finals? Do the hand warming mugs do really well? Do the... And I consistently have between three and 4,000 people that watch my Instagram stories. So it provides a really good sample size. I would love for you to participate. And so let me know, which one do you think is gonna win? And then you gotta go on Instagram, you gotta follow John Schmidt Pottery, and then you got to, you got to, that's some good grammar right there. Uh, and then you have to participate in at least 10 different votes over the next three weeks. I'll put the dates and everything you need to know in this video. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. Comment below with any questions. I'll try and address them uh, in a comment and uh, I look forward to playing. I hope you'll join along because it is so fun. And the championship will end actually on the weekend of the first round of the real NCAA tournament, um, which I'm super excited for as well. All right, that's it. Now, I will see you guys in the next video. Shoo!